Good day, everyone. My name is Chiksan, Technology Practice Lead for Data Perfections in Veritas. And my focus is on Enterprise Veritas Backup Solutions. Now, you have heard a lot from Andy as well as from Jeff about NetBackup 10. So without further ado, let's proceed with the session presentation. Now, as briefly shared by Andy and Jeff in their respective sessions, we are announcing NetBackup 10, which is built on the new cloud scale technology and architecture that provides compelling new optimizations for the cloud and increase uh, automations as well as cyber resiliency features that delivers a more cost-effective, secure and sustainable cloud. In NetBackup 10, we focus on three areas where we can help our customers. First on automated operations, where we understand that clouds can provide us with a lot of options and flexibilities on how we can do things these days, but cloud also brings complexity, including various levels of SaaS application data protections and inconsistent policies and limited visibilities across cloud. 90% of the enterprise expect the cloud usage to exceed the price years plan. And as cloud adoptions increase, so will the cost of cloud usage. And this is due, not surprisingly, to storing more data and also stems from the over-provisioning and inefficient usage of cloud instance, which also makes distinguish between what's typical common activities or a potential ransomware threats becoming more difficult. Which leads me to the next focus, which is on cyber resiliencies. We understand that there's a large majority of business leaders identifying ransomware as a primary concern driven by the rising number of attacks and the cost associated with the downtime, but also damages the reputations and of course paying the ransom themselves. Our new cloud scale technologies is enabling NetBackup to deliver cloud optimizations, which is our third focus area with multi-cloud orchestrations and visibilities so that organizations can achieve the best possible utilizations of both NetBackup and the cloud services that is running on. Now, starting off with our NetBackup cyber resiliency features, as this is a top of mind of most organizations due to the rising number of attacks globally. NetBackup includes the new capabilities that aligns to the NIST or NIST standards for protect, detect, as well as recovery of ransomware uh, <coughs> attacks. Adding new multi-cloud immutability data features with secure transfer, AI-driven anomaly detections, and malware scanning with clean restores to ensure recovery, all this without the need to pay the ransom. Now, let's first take a look at the protect stage, where we have increased our capabilities on immutable data protection. NetBackup 10 ex expands its cyber resiliency uh, by having immutable protection policies to more cloud storage targets, and now includes AWS, Azure, Seagate Live Clouds, providing more options and flexibilities for secure long-term cloud-based data retention. We have also expanded the cyber resiliency in the data centers with our cloud of with our NetBackup Flex and FlexScale appliance, with added immutability, immutability data policies to support Cloudian Hyperstore object storage and Hitachi Ventera Cloud, uh, sorry, the content platforms. All these to help um, provide additional ransomware resiliency from the edge of the corporate network to the core data centers and ultimately to the cloud. Continuing with the protection stage, securing the data is very important. So in NetBackup 10, we have increased our existing encryption support with the introduction of data channel encryptions using TLS 1.3, which will encrypt data transport path across all backups, restores, replication and deduplication tasks. On top of that, we have made enhancements to have additional NetBackup components and services to be FIPS 140-2 compliance in order to meet industrial standards uh, on standards. We have, we have expanded our support on third-party KMS providers, the Talis, Vermotrix, IBMs, and Oracles to ensure that our customers will stay compliant to regulations and governance. Now on the detect stage, we have our new NetBackup 10 active anomaly detections and malware scanning capabilities. 
This is a new malware scanning features that works in conjunction with the machine learning, the artificial intelligence driven near real time anomaly detections, which was introduced in NetBackup 9.1. When anomalies are detected, malware scanning can be automatically triggered to determine if backup sets contains malware. In addition to that, malware scanning can also be regulated, regularly <laughs> initiated uh, to, be, to the highly risk uh, areas such as internet facing Windows host. Then the malware scanning is also utilized to be efficiently identify last known good before any restoration can be done on the, back, the uh, backup data. This identification uh, can be shown in the net backup uh, UI, which shows which backup instance has been scanned by the uh, malware scanning process or manually started process within the, the web UI to help you quickly identify which backup instance has been scanned and detected for malware and which one are clean for restoration. Now let's take a step back to understand a little bit more about our normally detection capabilities based on the machine learning and artificial intelligence. It has the ability to capture unusual and normally patterns based on historic backup metadata information and trends. Any significant changes to the backup metadata, such as the found counts, the dupe rates, backup size, duration of backups, uh, will be flagged out so that organizations are aware of such enormities. On top of that, flagging out any enormities, um, net backup tents are, uh, um, <clears throat> now can automatically trigger a malware scan on the backup images. All these are to ensure that the, back, the, the data is recoverable. To give us more insights on the malware scanning, I would like to run a video by our net backup product manager, Liji, who will be giving us a rundown demo of NetBackup 10's malware scanning. Now let's view the video together. I just want to double down on how dangerous it is out there today for organizations. Ransomware will enter a network infrastructure, lay dormant for multiple weeks, sometimes months on end. Duck called out how critical it is for backup infrastructure to be protected because that's the last line of defense that organizations have when it comes time for recovery. Cyber criminals are getting smarter, and well, so are we. Here today, I'd like to show you how our AI-powered anomaly detection and malware scanning technologies allow you to isolate these malicious actors in your infrastructure and allow you to perform a recovery from a known clean backup set. With Nabackup 10.0, customers can easily perform both an automated as well as on-demand scanning for malware in their backup data. So in the NetBackup interface, going into the detection reporting section under malware detection, you can go and configure a scan pool. What's a scan pool? It's a collection of hosts that have the antivirus scanner installed on them, and you're able to use these to scan the backup data directly off our copy data management engine, which is on our deduplication volume pool. Our instant access capabilities eliminates the need for any additional infrastructure that you may need. So malware scanning happens directly right on our storage backend. After a malware scan is completed, it gives you a list of files that are infected and we store this in the NetBackup catalog. This allows administrators to be aware when there is particular files that are infected and they have a couple of options. They can use these infected files to perform a restore into some isolated environment to perform forensic analysis. Or you can also make sure that this store that you perform is only containing clean data. Today, we have unstructured data covered between Linux and Windows. And our integration with the malware scanners extends to Microsoft Defender as well as the semantic protection engine. For customers who don't have one of choice that they want to use, we provide a net backup malware scanner as well as part of their Veritas entitlement right from our download center. One thing that customers always have to do is figure out if the anomaly score is high or low and interpret the results. What we've done is actually simplified that for them. When a high anomaly score is returned, it automatically triggers a malware scan that level of automation 
and set up helps customers to eliminate some of the busy work that they had and just rely on the alerts function within NetBackup to identify, hey, if there's a high anomaly score, is it corresponding with a malware scan? And is the malware scan showing any infected results or not? That shows you just how easily and powerful our automation is capable of being. And all of this thing that we've done is capable of being done using our APIs. So you can completely script your own data protection services. Automated malware scanning takes a human element out and allows our AI and ML technologies to jump in and work for you. When recovery is necessary, you can get clear visual prompts that allow you to decide whether to continue recovering from impacted set of backups or completely eliminate that possibility and recover from a last known clean good copy of the backup set. That's it from me. Thank you, Liji. Now to further protect organizations, we have included features to enable content aware clean restores from any ransomware event. The NetBackup web UI will show the status of the backup standing, states and even allow the admins to expire or delete infected instances as well as utilizing the next nearest or newest uh, backup instance uh, to restore from. But going beyond that, NetBackup also includes granular file level restore. And these features can determine which files within the infected backup instance are clean and which includes or contains malware. And those clean files can be restored from the most recent backups. And then the additional data can be restored from say the previous clean backup and this provides our customers to be able to get the best last known clean copy of the data restored very quickly through the AI powered anomaly detections and malware scanning. And the granular clean restore capabilities ensure that the data can be restored without needing to pay the ransom. 